how we generated a 14X return on ad spend for one of our clients in the last 12 months using Google ads alone. In this video, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes showing you our exact Google ad account and the exact strategy that we use to test, validate, and scale our clients in order to generate over $597,000 in new deals in the last 12 months, resulting in, again, a 14X return on our ad spend during that time. Now, this client operates in the B2B industrial product space, so these strategies may not directly apply as far as the keywords and the exact targeting to your business. However, the principles do apply as far as the strategy that we're using, how to think about Google Ads, and how to properly set up your campaigns and your overall strategy to see amazing, amazing results. So let's go ahead and jump in and let me show you exactly what we did. Okay, so here we are in the back end of the Google Ads Manager. Now, uh, hopefully you're familiar with this dashboard. And as you can see here, what we're gonna look at from the time frame is gonna be May 31st, 2022 to May 31st of 2023. So a full year of data. And as you can see here, we spent about $41,000 and we generated a total of 665 conversion events. This would be leads, resulting in a cost per conversion of about 61.97. And just so you know that we did generate a 13X ROAS, this was forwarded to our client from uh, HubSpot here, as you can see. And uh, this is essentially the deal flow in the, over the last 12 months during this time. So you can see May 2022 to May 2023. And you can see here, we generated about 93 total deals during this time, resulting in $597,000 in new revenue from paid search alone in terms of deals one. And so if you do the math on that, right, we have, so let's go 597, 205 divided by 41200, right? It's about a 14.49X ROAS. So a 14 ROAS, again, uh, just kind of simplifying the math there, 14 times ROAS on our advertising efforts. So I uh, just wanted to quickly show you that. And now let me jump in back to the Google Ad account and let me show you the strategies that we implemented there. So as you can see on the left-hand side right here, you can see we have a few different campaigns, right? We have branded search, we have a display campaign, we have a keyword testing campaign, we have a uh, leads campaign for display, which is uh, doing some different lookalikes. We have a main search campaign. We have um, a couple of other search campaigns related to specific search terms. So the overall strategy, what I'm gonna do is just narrow it down to these top three campaigns that are still running. These other campaigns were essentially other campaigns that we're using to test, to narrow it down to this main search campaign. But you can just start right at the strategy that we're currently running right now, which is a main search campaign, a keyword testing campaign, and then a branded search campaign. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the settings here to just enabled. Okay, and you can see here, the spend did drop off quite a bit. We now have only 33K in spend. We have 6.5, we have 6.65K clicks, and we have 455 conversions at a $72 cost per conversion. But again, these are the only ones that I want you to focus on as this is all that we're running right now. So first of all, let's take a look at the branded search campaign. So this is quite simple. All you wanna do with this campaign is figure out how much demand does your product already have? How much are people already searching for you? And if people aren't searching for you currently, as you do more marketing and as you ramp up your overall advertising and overall sales and marketing channels, what you're gonna find is that people are now gonna begin searching for you. And you can see this client has a steady flow of organic searches for their actual branded terms. You can see they have 1.37K clicks over the last year at about a $3.67 cost per click, spend about 5K on just branded search. So a very, very simple campaign. And all that you wanna do in regards to setting this up is just create a campaign, you know, throw, again, a certain amount of budget at it. You can really start with just $5 a day and it's only gonna spend so much budget if people are actually searching for you. So you really don't need to spend a whole lot, but it protects your most valuable asset, which is people actually searching for your branded content. And it's a great way to measure the overall lift from your marketing efforts in terms of how much people are searching for you. As you can imagine, as you start advertising, as you start marketing more, what becomes more and more important is measuring the effect of your overall marketing as far as how much people are now organically searching for you, how much people know your name and are actively seeking you out. And this branded campaign is a great way to, again, protect that and also measure how much people are searching for you over time. And it also just ensures that you are at the top of the search result for specific keywords. As an example here, if I search for Gymshark, right, you can see here Gymshark has a branded search campaign that shows right at the top of the search results 
with their brand. So you wanna do the same thing, and that's the first part of the strategy. Now, the second part of the strategy is a keyword testing campaign. Now, as you can see here, this campaign has spent about $7,380, uh, cost per conversion about $78, uh, cost per click about $535 because we're bidding on highly competitive keywords, and about uh, 1,380 clicks. Now, the purpose of this campaign is to figure out what keywords are actually gonna be converting for you guys. This gives you the most freedom to uh, create different ad groups, create different ads, and overall test different keywords that you're targeting and bidding on so that you can figure out which keywords related to your business and your product or your service are most relevant and are most likely to convert. So this is really where you're doing your testing. You can change around the bidding strategy. You can change around, again, what keywords you're targeting, what type of keyword strategy you're using, whether it's broad, phrase, or exact match. Uh, by the way, I recommend using phrase match. You can test different budgets. You can test different landing pages. You can test different extensions in the Google Ads. This is where you're overall trying to figure out what is getting you that ROI. What is getting you clicks that are turning into conversions or leads for your business. And so this is what we've done with this campaign. So all we've done here really, if I scroll down, is we've tested a lot of different keywords in this campaign. So this is just kind of an example of some of the different keywords that we've targeted here. Uh, so you, as you can see here, this is what uh, the business operates in, right? In the solar powered lighting niche. And so we're testing a lot of different keywords in this space to figure out what is generating us leads, what is generating us conversions, and which keywords do we want to double down on and add into our main search campaign so that we can scale the budget on those keywords as much as we possibly can. And that's the second part of our actual strategy here for creating highly effective search campaigns. Now, I do wanna preface this by saying search ads may not work perfectly for your business. You need to have a solid business foundation, solid fundamentals, a solid sales process in place to actually take leads that are searching actively for your products or services, convert those leads into deals that are substantial in value and size. And so for this business, leads are highly valuable to us. We can convert leads uh, for deal sizes upwards of you know a couple hundred thousand dollars, all the way even up to several million dollars. So for us, it makes sense to spend a lot of money on paid search because we know we're gonna get that ROI. Now, if your business is relying on first time sales to, you know, uh, essentially be profitable, then that is typically not going to work. You are going to get outbidded and you're not going to be able to sustainably and scalably run Google ads because a lot of the money now is made in the back end, having a, a high lifetime value from your customers. And, you know, this is just a client acquisition channel. And then once you have them as a client, you need to be able to retain them. And so this search strategy is great for capturing demand, but you need to make sure your business is fundamentally sound and you can actually extract as much value as possible to see the ROI there. So on average, again, a, a customer is worth on uh, to us upwards of $100,000 at a minimum. And so for us, it makes sense to spend on Google ads because we know our average lead value is several thousand dollars on average. And so we can spend several thousand dollars to acquire a lead if we need to, not that we're actually getting that um, and profitably scale. So just a quick note there. Now, uh, if you are getting value from this, make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss on any of the latest content coming from me. Uh, let's keep it rolling here. So the last campaign is the main search campaign. And this is where we're taking all of the learnings that we've had, all of the best keywords, all the best ads that we have, the best landing pages, and we're doubling down and putting the maximum budget into these keywords to scale them out. And so as you can see here, we spent significantly more, spent 20,000 on this campaign at a similar cost per conversion, about $73, as you can see here, a similar cost per click, 5.29 with about 3,900 uh, clicks. And again, this was highly, highly effective for us. As you can see here, the trend over time, we saw a really, really good average here in terms of how many clicks we were getting, really, really consistent lead flow and deal flow for us. And if I look at the impression share, which is essentially how much people are searching for these keywords that we're bidding on and how much of those impressions we're actually taking up. As you can see here, we weren't taking up a lot. And as we've started to scale up the spend even more here, uh, as you can see by the green line, we're starting to capture even more of that total impression share. And so as of late, as you can see here, we're actually capturing about 32, 36% of the total impression share of these keywords because we're so hyper targeted on what keywords are actually converting for us to leads and we're getting hyper specific targeting those keywords and converting them over to leads at a highly effective and highly profitable rate. And now once we've maximized 
are bidding on the actual keywords that are generating us sales. What do we need to do next? Now we need to look for keywords that are less highly converting, but there's more search volume overall that we can then bid into further and scale our volume that way. So that's how we essentially think about scaling, how we think about building out our strategy in Google ads. And that's how we got a 14 X return on ad spend for this client's over the last 12 months using Google ads alone. All right, thank you so much for watching the video. I really, really appreciate your time and I hope I was able to deliver a good ROI for your time today. If I did, make sure to leave a thumbs up for me. Um, it really helps me rank better in the algorithm and grow a small channel like mine. So I really appreciate that. Also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest content coming out around digital marketing and digital advertising and overall growing a business online. And also leave me a comment if you had any questions. I'm happy to get back to everybody down there and I'm personally, also leave me a comment down below. I'm personally getting back to anybody and I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. And one last thing, if you are a company that wants help growing and scaling your paid acquisition, maybe it's Google ads, maybe it's Facebook ads, whatever it might be, and you're doing over $25,000 per month, and again, want help growing and scaling, uh, check the links in the description, book a call with me and my team. Happy to see uh, if we're a good fit to work together and go through our services and do some of this stuff for you. That being said, thanks so much for your time. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you soon. Peace.